This is what you need to think about in Mining and Exploration Part 2. We're going to talk about definitions one more time. We're going to talk about duplicates, duplicates, replicates and repeats, and repeats, and repeats. Ah, everybody, everybody is doing this. Everybody is using these words like they're all the same thing. Me too, for many years. They are different words. What do they mean? So when we talk about duplicates and replicates, it, it implies that you take two of something, but because they're different words, they must mean different things. Now with all these definitions, I don't want to be an old man ranting at clouds, but I do want to make sure that I understand when I write a word that I know what it means and the person on the other end knows what it means too. So I know there's some very passionate people about this sort of stuff when you say duplicate. So let's see what you got. I'm showing you my hand, show me yours. Let's go through it and I'll read you some definitions. Right, so to me, I'll start with my definition just like I did in part one and then we'll explore what the other stuff is out there and then we'll see where we drift. Duplicates, two identical samples collected at the same time from the same source using the same methods in the field. So a duplicate is not creating another split from an RC bulk bag later using a riffle splitter after it's already been split the first time using a cone splitter. That is not a duplicate. When you are repeating a process, then it is a repeat. If you do one action to one thing and it creates two, two of the, the same, same you've, you've got, got a duplicate. duplicate. Now, where's the confusion with the replicate coming in then? Well, a replicate, again, stupid Dutch brain, plucut, 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 duplicate, triplicate, quadruplicate, they are all the same. A duplicate is a form of a replicate. Those are the same. So we can kick replicate out of everything. Don't worry about it because it doesn't matter. Use duplicate. A repeat is different though. Soil sampling, if you can't do that, you can't create a duplicate soil sample, you have to do it twice. Pulp sampling, ooh, the favorite subject. I'm sure all the haters will come out on this one, but different laboratories call it different things, right? If you take a brown paper bag and you stick a spoon in it and you take a sample to put in the crucible and you do that another time, you haven't duplicated anything. You are repeating the process. Repeat analysis performed on the same sample or sample site. And what I found, there are no globally accepted definitions available. But you can find definitions for this under the US Environmental Protection Agency terms and definitions. And I'll put a link in the description. That's the definitions to me. And that's what it means to me. Now, you're probably going to think, OK, well, that's not what I think. But I've got some evidence for you. Because if you go to Merriam-Webster, just to start light, right, the dictionary, Google, Dr. Google, we can find all of the answers there for sure. Well. Actually, you can't. It's actually bloody tricky. This is why I thought this would be an interesting discussion. So, duplicate, consisting of or existing in two corresponding or identical parts or examples. Ugh, what the hell does that mean? Right, duplicate invoices is the example of a quote, or being the same as another. Well, you know, that doesn't help much. Um, also, duplicated or duplicating, to make double or twofold. And then lastly, to make a copy of uh, or to produce something equal to. So we can't really, I, can, I mean, I can't do much with that. So let's look at the definitions in our favorite documents, CIM guidelines, right? Because these people know what they're talking about. They set the rules. This is what we follow. So let's actually do a, a little word search for replicate and duplicate and repeat. And in that document, you will not find the word repeat. They are only talking about duplicates and replicates. But it is not clear from the document whether replicate is different than duplicate in this case. But in my mind, it is. So these are the only instances under 4.4, quality assurance and quality control, that you can find. QAQC protocol should include replicate analysis of appropriate standards blanks and duplicate analysis of field samples. And then later on, where precision is quoted quantitatively, the calculation method should be indicated clearly and the sample type, um, pulp, field duplicates, etc., to the precision applied should be stated. Now, at the bottom there, you see that they reference a few papers there. And these are all your favorite QAQC papers. Of course, we need to add to that Barry Smear et al's paper from early this year, which will be a critical paper to quote into the future. But all of these papers, if you look at it, it's not clarified there either. If you look what Roden and Smith in 2014 actually say on the principle of repeat and duplicate, the only word that you can find is duplicate mentioned once. The simplest and best approach is the use of duplicate field samples. These are samples split from the bulk in exactly the same manner as the originals and submitted to the laboratory on a regular basis 
to measure the precision and so on and so on. So this is interesting. We've got something to work with. We've got uh, samples that are split in exactly the same manner. Right? Now this stuff matters because when you analyze these things, you have different expectations of, from duplicates than you have from repeats. And also when stuff sits in a database and it is given different tags, it ends up in different sheets. And you see this all the time in very big data sets. Sometimes I think that these repeats are the same as duplicates. Sometimes they're intentionally labeled in a different way if people deal with umpire resubmissions or blind pulp submissions or the actual lab repeat, they call that a duplicate it's utterly confusing. So I'm advocating, again, for my uh, definition or for a definition that at least I can understand in my life, if you take a duplicate and you have one action and it creates two of the same, then you have actually taken a proper duplicate. So the example for me is the cone splitter, a sample falls off it, two things get split off, that's a duplicate. Right? And a riffle splitter, you put a sample through a riffle splitter, 50-50, one goes here, one goes there, that's a duplicate. If you take a sample, or a core sample, right? you cut the cores, one action, two halves, uh, two halves appear, to me that's a duplicate. Now you're going to argue with this because people keep saying we don't need those core duplicates. I'm going to come back to this one, but that's going to be a different video. That's a duplicate, and it's useful because this is all about quality control. So. Replicates, duplicates, and repeat, different things. See you in the next episode.